This is going to be a short tutorial on how to access the materials found on the website to teach. So what we're going to do is first I'm going to go incognito so that I see exactly as you would see. Then I would go to the website. And let's look at the materials for level two, three, four, and five. So first of all, if you wanna look at it closer, you just look at which one you wanna look at. Let's look at the scope and sequence quickly. And that's just going to show you your scope and sequence for the entire material. Then we go back in, and let's say I wanna look at the sample. Now, if you look at the sample, it's smaller, so that would be very hard to teach but you have the ability here, if you go down, there's an Omnibar. You click that Omnibar and then Control Shift F would bring that full screen. And then you would be able to change the materials on the, either by tapping it with your um, bar or you can use, uh, sorry, tapping it with your mouse or you can use the arrows found on your keyboard, the left and right arrow also moves. Like if I go left or right, it's there. Now, when you see a song, the same thing here, when you're playing a song for YouTube, you click there and then you make it bigger here. So that's how you could also enlarge the songs as they play. Oops, I made it small again. Let me just pop that out again, go down, Omnibar, and then when you see this, which is to maximize the window, and then you can continue. And then they have their video introductions, then they have their peekaboo cards. Actually, this is uh, not the peekaboo cards because this is the phonics, the built-in rewards, the brain breaks. Then we hide the cards here so they guess which word is missing. So this would be for this level. I'm going fast because I want to get through them. And then um, they like that's automated. So you just press once and it'll make the whole sentence for you. I like pink hearts, so on. Then they have the reward, more dancing and singing, a little bit of role play. They're very little. They can't read very much and then it points to the different things. And there's their goodbye song and then there's always the assessment at the end for the teacher to access. And if you look, that it's not just one assessment, you can just hit show all and you're allowed to use any of the assessments because I have a full version and I like students to make the choices. So that's one of the lessons and that's how you access it and the same thing goes for all of the lessons let's go down into the newest which is under construction under construction is our level five and it doesn't have the videos like you see in the younger levels because here they're a little bit older and they're more focused and they're able to do more in class so these have a lot more uh, slides in them and they are more focused for the students for the kids to play um, and then they're brought into different things. And you have your phonics, and they have sentence samples as well as the meanings. Then they have to use this, the words in sentences. Then they have activities. So if you, um, you can use here right now, you have that drawing laser. So you can have the kid you can show them and if you use um, either hold on let me get the laser gone um, it depends on I use zoom so I just have them use the uh, annotation tool in zoom because these haven't been moved over to Genially there's 160 lessons that would take forever to embed in Genially but I may have somebody do that after a while and then here too they're going to look for the TW within the reading and then they go over here. Let's continue. 
they have an activity for each one so phonics has an activity grammar has an activity vocabulary has an activity and then there's a homework assessment that have activities now remember they're not just one activity because each activity and you when you go in them they have one here but you have a whole list of other activities so your ch your children have your students will have choice and you know having this choice and ability really does well for the kids because some like game shows other like the brain pop other kids may like airplane but it's all the same objective and you'll be able to see if they understood or not so then let's go back in uh, back okay up over here where is it <laughs> now I lost it okay and again you are going to look down here and you're going to find your arrow right there and it's gonna take a second but it's there so like I said this is geared towards older students and it gives them that ability to use the sentences more and it gives them the ability to have like an interactive workbook within the lesson because there are for reading, as you can see, there are activities for them to do and they have homework and assessment. So I hope that you like this and you and have a great, great day.